I mean, one of the reasons this started is because obviously it's a it's a symbol. It's a strong. It's a New York landmark. Uh, the father Luigi Giussani, who uh, began our group, Communion Liberation, is an Italian priest. When he was visiting, he looked at the bridge and said, "You know, it looks like a church. I mean, the way the arches of the the uh, of the towers are." And he said, "It's a church without a cross." So we bring a cross over the bridge. It's been important for 2,000 years, but uh, it's even more significant, I think, today. People are a little jittery. Uh, the Middle East is in turmoil and uh, Christians are persecuted or people of all faiths are persecuted and we want to show that with the cross there is meaning to your life there is a destiny then Jesus came with them to a place called Gethsemane I think one of the beautiful things about this particular way of the cross is that there's so many of us and it really makes a statement but in a way that's not uh, aggressive I think it's a beautiful way to really say to the people around us that it's okay to be a Christian and it's okay to remember with love the fact that Jesus was a real person and he really loved us and he really died for us. There are so many thousands of people that walk across it every day without um, really paying attention um, and I think the fact that it's um, so symbolic of New York and especially also of Brooklyn, um, it's a way for me to really pray with the city and with all of the people that I'm with but also all of the people that walk over it every single day. Oh, no.